Hi everyone, hope you're well. I uh, just wanted to put together a little uh, arty video for you. I think it was about a month ago that um, I put together a video looking at how to draw cartoons and we uh, put together a short series of simple steps that you just needed to follow in order to draw cartoons of uh, people and how you can draw lots of different people using quite a simple formula. Um, I think the video was a little bit difficult to follow because it went quite quickly. Uh, I shared it on YouTube and on the blog and on the website, but I will send it through to uh, Miss King so she can upload it to the Roundhouse um, video channel as well. Um, but today I thought I'd change it up a little bit and uh, do a video like this and show you how you can draw some simple cartoons of lots of different animals using, again, a really simple um, Two, two shapes really, uh, we're going to go for a circle uh, and a W shape uh, and just using that and then just changing a few little bits and pieces, some of the features, uh, you can draw loads of different animals. So um, yeah, uh, let's get going, you will need uh, simply a bit of paper and a pencil, okay? Okay, so I've got a piece of paper here, um, I put it landscape uh, to start with um, and I'm going to start right up in this top left hand corner. So. As I said, you only need really two simple shapes. Um, you need a circle for the head. Uh, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, so I'm going to just put it up here. Um, sometimes even if it's a little bit more oval, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Uh, you don't want it too big, too small. Okay. So that's just going to be the circle for our head. And then the body is just going to be a simple W shape. Okay, so start here, we're not going to go any wider, we're just going to go straight down, just like you would for W. Um, this time I'm going to kind of do a bit of a curvy W, but if you want to do a kind of more jagged one, that's fine, and go straight back up. Okay, so simply using a circle and a W shape, um, we can kind of get the head and the body of different animals. Now I'm going to repeat this several times, I'm going to maybe um, change it up slightly, just make it a little bit more round. Okay. You think about the height of the body you want, so you can make it a little bit shorter if you want, you can make it a bit more jagged. Okay, um, just have a little practice along the page. Um, I think you can probably about fit about eight different animals on um, on the page, so just press pause now and see if you can just practice, have a practice putting together a head and a body for lots of different animals. Okay, so here are my eight uh different animals you can see they're all slightly different sizes different widths but they're essentially all uh, a circle and a w okay circle and a w now simply by adding a few simple shapes as features um, we can create lots of different animals so uh, let's see if you can guess uh, what animal I'm going to do first okay I'm gonna keep it quite simple um, so I'm just gonna add some dots for eyes okay just above halfway. I'm uh, going to keep two small dots for noses, okay, and a simple line for a mouth, okay. So right now it doesn't look like any animal in particular, okay. I'm not going to add any colour to these, but you you could. Um, but we, instead of adding colour, we can add shade and lines to kind of show where there might be differences and uh, things like that. So I'm going to put, simply put a nice faint line around here. Oh, a bit wiggly. It's fine go over it okay um probably still can't quite guess what it is yet so i'm gonna add some ears keep it nice and simple I'm just gonna add two big circular ears on the side of the head okay and again just to make it look like there's a bit of fur i'm just gonna add a little line at the top there's it okay um and you maybe a few tufts of hair as well okay I uh, don't know if you can tell what it is yet, but we're going to add some nice long arms. Again, nice simple shapes, just going to follow, start at the top and go all the way down and follow the length of the body. Okay, um, maybe a bit of a belly here to show maybe different fur. Uh, and I mean the giveaway is always when you add the tail. So let's give him a nice long tail. Okay, and hopefully you can tell this guy is supposed to be a monkey okay so simply by adding a few simple shapes we can change this circle and W into a, a drawing that looks like an animal okay um, so we're starting off with a monkey okay but there's loads and loads of different ones you can do uh, let's see if you can get this next one okay. um, 
again, I'm going to start it really simply, just with some dots for eyes. I'm going to put them a little bit higher this time. Okay, and have a play with putting them. Sometimes you can give them almost different expressions by putting the eyes and noses in different places. Okay, but again, same as the first one, two dots for a nose, but this time I'm going to put a circle around it. Now that circle might give it away quite quickly. Okay, and this time I'm going to put kind of a bit of a, a mouth at the side, a bit of a jaunty angle. Okay. Um, okay, this time for the ears, I'm going to make them a bit more jagged. So I'm simply going to get almost like a um, drawing part of a triangle. So I'm going to go up and down. Okay, up and down. And then from this end point, I'm just actually going to complete a triangle, but not go back to the start. So from here, about halfway to that line. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to draw a short line here to give them some nice pointy ears. Okay, um, give them some shorter arms this time. Okay. Um, and now you don't need much more detail, but again, I'm just going to kind of give it a bit of a loose line around here, just to kind of focus the face a little bit. Okay, and maybe a little bit of a, a bit of a tummy. Okay, and again, the tail's always that they give away. But hopefully, you can tell that that was supposed to be a pig. Okay. So the faces of the last two animals are quite similar, uh, but again, you can just change up the eyes and the mouth, or leave off certain features, and that works just as well. Okay, so this time I'm going to uh, make the eyes kind of almost like just upside down U's. Okay, and for the nose, I'm going to keep it a bit more pointed, but I'm not going to add a mouth this time. Okay, um, I'm going to try and give him a bit more of a hair actually. Not hair, hair's not the right word. Um, but I'm just going to go and try and give it a few more features on the head to make it a little bit more obvious. So you can kind of just have a go at playing around with. Um, adding different shapes and seeing what you can do to make it look a little bit more like an animal. Okay, and this time with the arms, I'm going to take them out a bit wider. I'm going to make it a bit more jagged. A bit wider, a bit more jagged. Okay, uh, again, I'm going to give it a bit of a tummy. And if you wanted to, you could spend a long time um, shading it in and colouring it in, but just by kind of joining it up, hopefully, you can tell this guy was supposed to be an owl or a bird of some sort. Okay, so I'm not being particularly careful with my shading. There you go. Again, using that same circle and the W shape, just by adding a few different bits and pieces here, um, we can make it look slightly different. Now, the next one is one of my favourites, and I think it's probably one of the simplest to do. Okay, I'm going to keep the eyes the same as um, as the owl. Okay, uh, and I'm going to give them a nice round kind of oval nose. Uh, smile, smile next to the um, next to the nose. And I'm just going to simply put this shape around the eyes. And then if I give him some arms, and maybe a couple of claws. Now, don't let these claws or talons fool you. This is simply supposed to be a sloth. And hopefully you can see that, because it's one of my favorite ones to draw, nice and simple. Okay, this fellow's a sloth. Now the key is you can I keep this, the faces really quite similar, but it's not really the eyes or the nose or the mouth that's really going to give characteristics to the animal. It's going to be the ears, the hair, the tail, the wings, things like that. Okay, so I've kept this quite simple. Here we've just got a kind of almost looks a bit grumpy, but if I just add a bit of a, a cloud on his head, okay, and some kind of long ears, okay, and maybe this is almost like the opposite of a cloud, okay, some little arms. Okay, you've got a sheep. Okay, in this instance, we're going to go for some more kind of uh, circular ears. Or circular ears, they're kind of pointy. A uh, little bit of hair on top. Okay, um, I guess this guy could be. Oh, I've got a fluffy tail on the sheep, obviously. Uh, now, this guy could be a bit more of a donkey. Okay, a bit more of a horse, whatever you think. These ones haven't come quite as well as I hoped. Um, 
this guy here, uh, you just think about maybe adding some kind of lines to the face, and it kind of almost looks like a long nose. Okay, and he keeps nice pointy ears. Okay, you've got a guy that looks like a fox. Uh, this one, I've kind of gone for more of a traditional kind of doggy cat face. Okay, it almost looks like he's smiling because I've put those eyes higher up, it almost looks like content. So if I just put some kind of triangular ears on top, okay. And then I think about again, just kind of adding some subtle shapes around here. It might be patterns, it might be a net, a tiger, or a bit of a cat. Okay. Um, but just the idea is have a play, okay, and see what you can come up with. They're not always going to turn out brilliantly, okay, but that's kind of the fun of it. Okay, so. Remember, simply have a circle and a W, okay, for your bodies, uh, and then have a play with different sizes. You can even, just by doing it a little bit smaller, all of a sudden, we've got a pig, okay. And a piglet. So I hope that was useful guys. Uh, remember it's just a circle and a W and then adding dots and lines and different ears and different arms and legs and tails to try and give those animals those features, okay? So uh, have fun, maybe you can come up with some of your own cartoons, maybe your own stories. Um, but yeah, uh, please send me in some pictures. It'd be brilliant to see some of your guys' drawings and just, yeah, just enjoy it and have fun, okay? So uh, yeah, uh, really enjoy doing this. See you soon.